we are going to create first transactional table in new application area. Let's see how this is done. We have for Dynamics instances opened, application is opened, and we uh, open we have for Dynamics instance. It's going to be loaded very fast, and we are going to start our development, going to the customize and manage transaction here. This is the same button either to create new transactions or to edit existing transactions. That's why we say it's a manage transaction icon. There are no application area yet, so let's just start with the sales analysis. And we are going to create sales invoiced transactions. We start with the wizard. First it was to create or select the transactional table and now we are going to start with the tables. You can see there are available 7500 tables under the schema stage. If we would have other sources, usually they would be found under other schema names. Our main base table, you have to know this, is cast invoice Let's just try again. Uh, for the recording, our main table is cast invoice trans. So this is our primary table in the model. These are the lines of transactions. And we want to have the header of the transaction in our case. So instead of searching for a table, we can use a smarter way to give us all the related tables here. And in our case, it's cast invoice jour. Okay. Now the relationship that we have received may not be always complete. So in our case this is good, but we have to be sure that we also add the full uh, relationship between the two tables. So in our case this is invoice date, and there is another relationship also sales ID in our case. How do you know these relationships? Well, any modeling requires understanding about the underlying application data structure, in this case dynamics, so you must know dynamics in order to work with the model, with any tool. So this will going to give us unique relationship between the header and line, multiple lines belonging to one header. And in case we get sometimes partial data, it's also fine to go with the inner join. In case we have a live feed from Dynamics and uh, we get the lines, we don't get the header, so it's better just to have the data when they are complete. So we have selected the relationships and now we are going to select the columns. We are going to start with the header and we need to get the date here. It's invoice date. And then I'm going into the lines and I'm going to bring some of the values. And I can also focus my list of selected fields by selecting the type. And I will just select line amount monitor is standard and line amount. I'll work with other measures later. The goal of the first round of development is just to get something, not be too optimistic. So we are just fine with having only three columns selected. It's fine. We go further with uh, development and our date dimension is going to be name date so that we have the first dimension already selected. Now this is very interesting because the list of the available dimension is suddenly here and we didn't choose any of them. So let's say something very simple. Currency 
I don't have an existing dimension, so what I can create currency as a dimension and at the same time I'm going to connect dimension with the transaction. So this is two in one step. I'm creating a dimension with the primary key only and connecting it to this transactional table. It's uh, super efficient. And the same way I can do with other important dimensions so we not go too deep. So inventory table is going to be our item table and all it's already giving me the relationship because of the metadata and I'm going to add also the information about customer so let's just do the cast table and this is going to be because it's an order account this is to be a sell to uh, in this case I have to create a customer dimension and then role playing customer I will skip this I'll just go with this customer date currency date and item this is a little specific of customer table because it's going to have a role playing dimension and uh, I want to have it in the customer here so let's just create this and the dimensions let's put need sales and this is going to be need sales in posted currency. Good. Um, nothing else here, just uh, create the model. Now this is where the magic happens. So let me just show the structure of the folder that we have. This is facts, there is nothing here. And when we generate, we created the script. So this is where the magic happens. We created create table as you can see here, trunk it for incremental and we created the stored procedure that will load the data, that will join and load the data. And also um, everything else. What we need to know is like we generate the whole model and go and deploy with the one button here. So all the changes that we created are now going to be deployed. The model is going to create transactional and dimensional table in data warehouse and later in what's going right now also in analytical part here. So this is already working. Um, let's just see what we have here. So on the data warehouse we have one more fact transactional table, sales invoice transaction. You can see these are the columns here. We created DIM item. It has only the primary key, nothing else. We created currency. Okay, this is it. And we created the analytical part. This analytical part is here. Let's just refresh it. Okay, company and date came from framework and currency item and sales invoice transaction are coming from our development. Let's see what we have created by connecting Excel. And this is Excel. Uh, we are going to connect to analysis database. So we go to database from analysis services. Uh, we have the local instance with uh, the FNO. Uh, instance name and this is our demo model that has been just created. Let's just verify the model what we have here and we see we have well we didn't put these things here but yeah we are happy to see the numbers, currency uh, and item. Okay so we were successful but kind of interesting that um, Dynamics didn't 100% fulfill our requests or did we do something wrong? No, actually these are the translations, captions that we have and let's just uh, do this first here. But yeah, we were able to get the data, uh, just not right. But this is easy to fix. So let's just go back to the model and put first a friendly name uh, reset. And let's just do this first. And I strongly suggest you that you do in every step of development as little as possible as it is manageable. Don't be too optimistic so it is easy and then you will end up with errors. So here it's the amount that we have seen in Excel. 
and we are not really uh, in favor of this then because we already put the need cells so all we need to do is the clear caption for now and clear caption for this guy also here because by default the metadata is bringing all the way also the field name and as we are ready here we want to add time intelligence some basic of time intelligence uh, for the last period and this is just going to be it let's we didn't do any changes in the staging area so i'm fine just to do the changes in data warehouse and analytics because this is a small model you can see this all live 160,000 rows uh, are added let's see uh, the data now and refresh this okay now looks better we have a need cells and need cells in the posted currency so that local and currency is the same so we didn't get much but what what is also new here it's very well to notice we added the time intelligence just the basic of time intelligence to start with it is a year today year today last and variance here or a last period so we have a more of the time intelligence variance here this is the first exercise adding a fact or transactional table and you can see it's not difficult but what we are going to uh, do is to see what we actually created so we are going to print out documentation as an end part of this is going to be documented in BFO Dynamics here it is it's created in I don't know 10 15 seconds when it's a full documentation takes 60 seconds so we have one model one transactional table measure group fact three dimensions and 19 measures so this is the basic we'll see documentation a lot this is a data source database table companies and the list of the objects in the model we are using 43 tables if you look further our first cube or model is this it has three dimensions and these are the formulas how dimensions are connected to which table or to which if the dimension is created from field from which field or column and formulas for data warehouse measure okay this is it we have now base attributes which are the primary key for customer for dimension currency and item and we are going to add more columns in our next exercise.